stand back and let them play then then they're going to score tries and they've scored tries against every team this year a pretty big physical team that look really professional and well disciplined under uh, Franny Cummins so we know it's going to be a challenge for us um, you know, it is every week and, and we need to make sure we're right on our game Daryl, just talk us through the thoughts through the week, moving on from the, the game against Witness there, a real hard-fought win. Yeah, it was. Uh, we had to show a lot of character to uh, to win the game. We'd, we'd started pretty well and, and got control, and and then, um, as happened to us a little bit recently, we, we lost control and they, they built up a bit of a, a lead, and, and we had to show some, um, some real courage and spirit to come out of it. Uh, obviously, we... Um, we're trying to improve our defence on a regular basis. We're conceding too many points. We're aware of that. Um, we need some some more toughness, some more concentration in what we're doing. So, you know, we'll continue to work towards that. We've probably not got the perfect 80 minutes together. Um, I'm not sure if everyone's going to achieve that, but um, we, we felt that we we didn't give ourselves much of a chance second half. That the scramble and the effort for each other. You know, we've been in player football for the last probably the past two games anyway. So it has been desperate, and the desperation to get back and out has been tremendous. And, and that's probably been a feature of our game all year. But you've got to have a quality at the start, and you've got to have quality in defence. Um, I thought as attacking, good balls really picked up. We're asking more questions of teams, and, and, and really got some nice timing. We, we were, uh, you know, we were inch away from scoring another try, and, and we should have done really. But um, it, it's mainly in defence in that second half. Is it was, it was the main main problem. Yeah, definitely. In the last two games, we've been thinking it's our playoffs come early. Really, we need to win as many games as we can, and now more than ever, we need to win these next three games to even get a chance to get into the top eight. Yeah, yeah, we want to want to finish this year on on a positive and uh, feel proud of what we've done and. Uh, and kick on and take it into next year. So I think it's a, it's a big thing for us to finish these and win these last three games on a positive. And Bradford, the team in front of you this week, uh, what threats do you see from them and some uh, talented players in that side, isn't it? Yeah, they, they have the, the talent across the board, aren't they? I mean, uh, <coughs> Luke Gale is a threat with a ball and, and they've got a big set of forwards as well. So we've got to be on his, on his game and um, make sure that his defence is top notch. They're a big threat, you know, they've got some, some dangerous players in there and we can't discount them at all. They're, they're a good side and, you know, I think they turned or nearly turned Catalans over a few weeks back, so without doubt you can't, we can't just discount them like it's going to be a walking park at all. We've got to turn up with right mindset and really get into them from the start. Mainly I think it's going to be their pack. We've got some big forwards in there. Um, we've just got to make sure that we all muscle up and do our job and let the half-backs and the backs do the work after we set the platform. Both teams with a few exciting half-backs as well that can uh, really light up this uh, Weldon Road pitch come, come game day. Yeah, Salat's definitely a brilliant player, isn't he? Um, but like I said, we, we've got Rangi. Jamie Ellis has been improving his game week in, week out. Um, the, the vibe here is really positive this week um, and everyone's wanting to finish the season on a high.